talking about the issues that matter to West Aussie young people. This is News Flash on Youth Jam. Something has boiled my blood, and I have not felt like this in a very, very long time. Yesterday, whilst speaking in Parliament, the Prime Minister, of all people, made a derogatory slur about Tourette's syndrome. He was talking about the opposition who are blocking key Labour legislation when Angus Taylor, the shadow treasurer, and Peter Dutton, the opposition leader, interjected. That's when Mr Albanese questioned if they, and I quote, have Tourette's or something. Take a listen to this. And the idea, I mean, this this nonsense that they carry on with, the idea that we're... Have you got Tourette's or something? (laughs) As you heard, the parliament then erupted in laughter. The politicians who claim to represent the people, including those who live with Tourette's syndrome, are laughing at those very people. I don't know what is worse, the prime minister or those who laughed at his so-called joke. Now, unfortunately for Albo, and that's what I'm going to call him from now on, because I don't believe he deserves the respect of being called the prime minister. Elbow was the one on camera, and he's the one who said the joke. We can't see the ones who took the mickey out of every single Australian living with a tick disorder, but we can see him. What I can say with certainty, though, is that this proves that Elbow has zero comprehension of what it is like to live with a tick disorder. Many of you know that I do live with one of those, a tick disorder. I'll be real, it is exceptionally hard. I've had ticks of varying ilks since I was 13 years of age. My butt made noises, my eyes blinked rapidly, my head twitched, just to name a few. I now have quite severe symptoms, which have pretty much left me housebound. I snort, I cough, I have body twitches, and so on and so forth. The snorting and coughing gets so bad that I hyperventilate, and from there it is a vicious cycle. Cough, snort, hyperventilate, go on, go on, go on. Two years ago, my life changed when my tick disorder, as well as my anxiety disorder, took a turn for the worst. I barely see my friends. I can't travel. I've had to give up the holiday of my dreams. I've missed parties for my best friends. I've had to let down my mates because it's simply been too much. And I've caused a huge financial burden to myself and my family. Tick disorders, Tourette's or otherwise, are not a laughing matter. And for the Prime Minister to so blatantly laugh about a condition that has ruined my life is beyond the pale. No apology will be enough. Actions mean more than words. I call on Albo to sit down with the Tourette's Syndrome Association of Australia and educate himself. Learn about this condition because it is more than just blurting out random words, saying out of the blue and slapping yourself. It's a condition that has terrible implications for some. And don't forget the stigma. I've been spat on over my tics. I've been shouted at and taunted for just existing in my neurodivergent way. As advocates and politicians have said, no disability should be used as a joke, especially not by people who claim to be the leaders of this country. I am shocked, appalled, and I'm angry. I won't forget this, and I hope that you don't either, when it comes to putting your ballot in the voting box.